Welcome uh, to this chapter eight, conditions. Um, this chapter is all about uh, what conditions are and how to use them. What are conditions? When we make functions, so we might want to add some extra uh, communication within with the within with the user, and so we can use conditions. This condition can be used for um, highlighting errors if there's any, or if the input by the user is not exactly what we want, or the output is not what what the function requires. Uh, as well, we have warnings that we can use, uh, and these are warning and messages. Uh, um, you might recall, uh, for example, what what um, uh, I have in mind is when I make a document with Cork with Corto, for example. So uh, in the chunk uh, of code, you can suppress uh, the warning or the messages. Uh, produced by the code. So as well within functions, you can um, put inside your functions uh, warning and messages to, to be able to, to interact with the user uh, and address him um, to the best way to use the function. Um, and so it says that um, as a, a function order, one can signal them uh, as is, uh, and so if there's a problem, uh, it's, it, it's a way to uh, interact with the user. Uh, and as well as a function consumer, uh, one can handle them, for example, react or ignore, so you can, uh, you, you know better how to use the function. Um, I, I wanted to, uh, in addition to have a look at the notes that we already, we just, uh, you know, had um, uh, them ready. Uh, within the chapter, you can see that this, this chapter is um, quite straightforward. So we have uh, uh, about like one, two, three, four, five, um, five um, subsections of the chapter. And so the, the, the first uh, two, the, the condition, the introduction are, uh, as I said, sort of uh, uh, like introducing you to this uh, um, messages to exchange with the, with the, within the user of, of, the, of, the, of the function if you are the author or um, uh, on 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 the other side, if you are just a user, so you can uh, understand a few things. Um, and so the, these uh, other um, subsections are putting you a bit more inside of the argument, uh, and we we can see that um, uh, as a function orders, for example, so uh, these signal conditions uh, are are function themselves that we use inside other functions. Or we can some, somehow play with that, even if just um, by themselves, because they work, they work uh, even by themselves. So these are uh, the stop function, which is used for um, handling errors. Uh, as I said, warnings, they are exactly functions, message, uh, function message, and then we have these other two um, functions, which are try catch and with calling handles. And so, understanding this this system, uh, how to use all this uh, type of condition, it, it's uh, you know it's a feature that you add to your function, but it's very important because uh, uh, you, you can um, effectively uh, address the user um, um, 
and and so um using uh your function uh and you as well you get information when you use uh, uh, another function um okay uh there, there is a bit of background and a couple of suggestions like that these two uh, suggestions if you are interested in improving uh, your knowledge uh, on this topic uh, this is um the, these are two suggestions and there even uh, there is something like here um this is the uh Dihon exception handling uh, and this is, is in the advanced R. Um, it, it's a, an article uh, with from from Adley Wickham, uh, and it's basically uh, if you it's a, it goes a bit more uh, on the philosophy of how to handle an error, how to um, so. Um, uh, do um, the R way because R is um, is a nice language and it's quite versatile uh, and you know that is uh, um, built on C uh, language and C++ so before it was called S but it's built on um, uh, C and C++ so you can basically um also uh, add to uh, your function that some features uh, from this other uh, basic language. Okay, um, going back to our um, notes, so as I said, we can uh, highlight for errors, warnings, and uh, messages. For example, okay, going to uh, a bit more, as I said, these are function themselves, so we can uh, um, we can. Uh, I'm sharing the right one. Yes, okay. Uh, so we can uh, use them by themselves. So, for example, if we use if we use the stop function, we can put a, um, a message inside, and it will release the message. Uh, all, um, one, one interesting thing which you can find uh, in um, this um, um, post, uh, in this part of the, um, the advanced R um, uh, website, you can see that uh, in, in, and even in the chapter, okay, these are the quizzes, but you know, mm, okay, we 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 know about. It. So and even in the chapter, it is uh, suggested to use um, this function from Erlang, which is a board. This function is basically suggested to you, which is. Um, mm, it pushes us to be slightly better than the stop function to use within a function when when you build a function because uh, you can uh, basically add other function to it such as glue uh, to release a message and there is even a, a, an example within the chapter mm, uh, it it basically works as the same but provides, uh, uh, it, it's a bit more like customizable um, error uh, handling message uh, um, tool. And so, uh, for example, if we go to, um, uh, the, 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 the stop function is just a stop function, okay? So it's, it's exactly a stop function. So you, you put, the stop function inside the function, and uh, if uh, the if the condition is met, the function breaks, uh, so stops working, and release the message. And you you just put the stop function and uh, um, a message inside. 
um, you there is an option that you can add, which is this call false, uh, and this allows you to do not recall the 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 level from which the, the error arises. Uh, while the uh, abort function from the Arlan uh, package, it uh, does it automatically. So you don't need to uh, eventually call false, but uh, so it doesn't uh, show up the function where it's, oh, so where it's from, basically. You see, imagine you have a, a long function with put some other functions inside that you might not need to show up this, those, those things when when the error message um, appear. And so you can simply use this abort function and also uh, it's recommended to use the glue glue. So the glue function from the glue package uh, to uh, customize it. Okay, and here uh, there is this uh, Teddy Vest. I didn't put both of them in, in the in the chat, so I'll put this one so you have it in case you don't. Uh, and this other one, uh, what is it? Uh, from from the Teddy Vest style uh, uh, website. And even here, there is a bit more about uh, those things, which are mentioned in the chapter. And so this is um, what is basically uh, the, the, the very first part. So the, the most important condition that you might want to use, uh, because it's able to uh, address the user towards the right uh, side of the, uh, the the right way to use the function. Other uh, con uh, con um, other signaling conditions are the warnings, as I said, and the message functions. Um, you might safely want to. Um, I uh, those things those things annoy me uh, very easily, uh, and so uh, if this happen, you can. Uh, prevent them to release their up output by using a function such as suppress warning, suppress messages, or so on. Uh, but what are they and what are they for? Okay, so you basically uh, advise, you use them as a warning uh, to advise the user of some um, condition that are not exactly met, but they're not errors. So, um, and um, so you can set them uh, just inside a function as the same as the, the stop function. The, there is more uh, in the, um, um, we can see a bit more uh, later. I want to go into the uh, solutions of the exercise so we can see a couple of them. Uh, and so there is like um, all of them uh, allowed for uh, an argument. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure if you can uh, hear, but it's like started raining a lot. I don't know if you can hear my background, but it's quite noisy because it started raining all on a sudden. So, okay. Was, um, and so you have this, uh, this, this uh, various options. Okay. For example, um, there is a, um, There is um, one uh, of the exercises or something in the chat. Okay, that's good that you cannot hear. <laughs> okay, so it's, it's very loud. Okay, 
of here we have um, four examples of functions which have a warning inside. So for, for example, this file.remove function um, release a warning and you can put inside the message um, of the for the word. Okay. As well as for example, the lag. Uh, when you ask for for lag uh, number one to three, and you set a k value equals to one point five, they said k is not an integer, and this is a warning. Um, and so you can um, eventually change uh, your um, one of the options, but it, the, the function produces an output. So it didn't stop working. Okay, so that, that is just a word, as well as the other one. Uh, and so messages are, are more um, exactly the same. So you put inside a message uh, and you, that you want to your, the user receive. And as I said, um, when like packages, when you load a package, there is a lot of information sometimes that comes up, and these those are messages. So you, if you those are not you, you can uh, use function functions such as um, suppress messages, uh, and so you don't see them. Okay, this is one for. For example, one exercise, write a wrapper uh, around file remove that throws an error if the file to be deleted does not exist. Uh, the, and I uh, wanted to show you the output of this exercise. I don't know if you, okay. So this is uh, the file remove with a path. It's, uh, the, it says, write a wrapper and, uh, around this function that throws an error if the file to be deleted does not exist. Okay, so uh, inside as a path, and so you put a condition uh, which says this is a wrap, okay, so a wrap is a function itself that basically wrap another function, and then you can add things around. Uh, and here there is a condition with an if, which says if the, the in file exists, the path that doesn't, that doesn't exist, so there is not this path, then stop. Okay, that would, you get, then, then you add the message, in this case, they add, uh, can delete the file because you can find the the path. Um, and seeing that you have used stop, you need to use this call dot uh, equals false to suppress where it's from, and then you put the 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 file remove function. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, do we have any questions, additions, uh, concerns? Um, as personal experience that you would like to share, if you use this uh, functions before. Okay, it's quite straightforward and nothing, nothing, uh, you know, very difficult. Um, my sometimes difficult if you, if it breaks the function and if you don't put the condition, because the condition is more than, it's more important than the, the, the stop of the message or the warning function. So you, you need to handle the condition well 
to then add, uh, make the, the stop function working. Otherwise, uh, your function can break. Uh, and so you can use functions such as trace, trace back to debug your function. And then, uh, OK. So what else uh, um, we can see? Um, OK, and these are various uh, examples that are in the notes. Uh, so you can put various warnings, for example, and all those things, as well as messages. Then uh, I already mentioned it, those things. These are in your conditions. So these are other these functions here. And you can um, use them. Um, interchangeably uh, within different, uh, not only function, even packages and everything. Okay. Uh, what else uh, uh, we might want to uh, to see? For example, there is a. Uh, these are other two. Uh, the other two function that I mentioned. Okay, try catch and with calling endos. These are basically not, you, you are not stopping the function, but you are trying to find uh, things, okay? In case an error, for example, okay? So for example, this try catch, uh, you, uh, for example, this is just to, to show you how, how this function works. Um, so you say uh, the, that the error expects a condition, and then um, this this will be so the um, what's happening inside. Uh, so what what you try to catch the error basically, okay? So but the error in this type of function. Uh, um, arise arises when uh, something happened with a function in itself. So you use a function that call it error, for example, uh, and then uh, within try catch you have this uh, these things to uh, to so the rest of the code within the function. Okay, so you wrap your code uh, within this function try catch so that you can see what is the error. And this, uh, this things here is mentioned even in uh, this are superfluous warning. Okay, so basically, um, you What's happened if it, exactly is that you override override uh, the function behavior. Okay, you replicate a section of the function to catch the error. Okay, um, while this other one with calling endos. Okay, you can uh, add warning messages. Uh, to see um, if the warning on the messages appear in case when you run the code of the function. And so um, those two um, are used to um, capture and control the contests, obviously, of the, uh, of the condition. Okay, so there is um, gra um, la um, um, a part of the this condition is found uh, within the Arlang uh, package. So Arlang is quite useful uh, because it provides, in addition to abort, as we have mentioned, that can be uh, a substitute of stop. Uh, you can use catch condition C and D 
as a function to uh, to try as uh, instead of try catch and you catch the condition uh, and you inside you can put a stop function uh, and see that it releases a message which says a simple error an error and a condition such as uh, the attribute of the output of this function um okay so um I think it's, uh, I don't know if you have a, do you want to, uh, um, talk about anything, uh, try something, um, you have, uh, within a function that you want to, to share with us or, um, or have any questions? Is any of those things happen to you and you didn't know how to use it or maybe um, what's interested you within this chapter, uh, what you wanted to know? Yeah, should we have a look at some exercises? Because um, as you can see within TriCatch, you can, uh, for example, just, uh, so they they are for TriCatch and with Colli handles, they are uh, used in the same way. So you can use messages, stop function, errors, uh, um, all the, all, all, all the condition uh, can be used inside this function. Um, and so uh, there is another function which is interesting. It's condition muffle from the Arlang. And this is basically, uh, it's used to muffle the, sig the signal. Uh, how to use it is inside with calling handles uh, when you have add a message and then inside the message function that you have created, you can put this condition muffle. So uh, then here is twice, uh, so you can put another with calling handles inside the function. And uh, with a message, not muffled. Um, and so you can see you have a level one and level two output. Uh, and the first one, um, so the muffled level two uh, and the default handles. So one is muffled and the other not, it's not. Um, I'm not, really know about this muffle do you do you know uh you like to add something i'm not i'm not very uh quite uh, let's have a look at the i can do a new share Let's have a look at this um this function here. Yeah, it takes a minute to open up my R. Not takes a bit of an up, why it takes so long? Okay. It's so um, let's have a look at some applications 
there are still custom conditions, but we can like wrap them up uh, within the an exercise. Uh, and so we can see um, how to use them more, more like clearly. Okay. In the meantime, I don't know why it takes so long, but in the meantime, we, we have a look at the rest of the um of this section. Uh there are called stacks. Okay. Let's try again. Um and so this one here, for example, so it shows you the, that you can use the lobster package with the cast function C uh, S T function. So it, then uh, it shows you everything uh, um, inside um, about uh, the function and the condition that you have set, uh, defined before. So for example, this one was the uh, condition things that we defined before. Where is it? Uh, <clears throat> here. Okay, I don't find it anymore. I don't know if it, let's open this out. Okay. It doesn't want to open it. So I don't know why. You know, can we go through this section on applications? I'm curious if um, anyone yeah. else has actually used these or what you would use them for. Like at most of my work, I feel like, um, you know, it's just me running it. So I kind of, you know, if something goes wrong, I'm watching the code as I'm running it and I'm, you know, fixing things as I go. So I'm not sure that these are that useful for me, but I'm curious if anybody, like I would think if I wanted to maybe write a package, like, and, you know, publish a, a package for others on the CRAN, you know, website or whatever, like maybe for things like that, not maybe, but for th things like that, I would think it's probably really useful, but for my personal work, I'm not sure. I would use it, and I'm curious if anybody else does. Okay. Um, okay. Let, uh, I I um, didn't actually. Uh, so I. Um, I might need it to add a stop function inside a function, but I'm not, not really uh, use those things very much beside to be uh, on the side of the user. Uh, I've used them not as a function order. Uh, so let's go to the application, which is uh, yeah. Okay, uh, more than the application, I think it's better to go to uh, directly to the exercises, because as you can see, uh, this is a, like a bit of uh, a various way to use the tie catch function inside uh, the error. Okay, for example, if we uh use this uh, function okay Th this is nice for example okay let's 
copy this and I don't know if you can be able to see my eye. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see it. Okay. So this is a uh, this is a function. Okay, to show you, for example, obviously its name it's fail with. Okay, so you're making a function where you have an expression and a value, and you try catch. Use this try catch function. Let's have a look at. Information. Try catch function. Okay, uh, it's from the the base R, and it's to uh, allow you to end all condition and recovery. So provide a mechanism for for handling unusual conditions, including error and warning. And warning. There is much more uh, in the details, such as uh, um, in case the system provide a, a me mechanism um, for uh, signalizing and handling unusual conditions. So you can uh, condition are represented as objects and contain information. So. Uh, you can basically um, catch them, uh, such as uh, this way, specifying an error. So you, inside the try catch function, you put another function, which require a condition and define a value. If we run this, here and so the file fail with function is we just run without the parentheses so we can see what is the function why with the parentheses is nothing we if we put a value an expression inside such as log 10 we can see that it releases a, a, an output, while if we wrong uh, the condition which is inside the function, so basically um, we have used an expression, but this expression contains an error. And so uh, this try catch function says, that the error might happen inside a function. And so uh, it releases uh, not a value. Let's have a look at another one, see if I can share back my. Okay, mm. so there is a, there was another one that, which was quite interesting and it was about, um, for example, um, making a log, okay, when you um, build up a logarithm, a logarithm. Um, as you can see, they are all, um, so you, you can specify conditions, error, all of them allows for, for another function. And so you have two, two options. Let's have a look at 
um, how to make those things. Uh, you see, there is more, um, so th there are various things that you can put inside the others. Uh, for example, um, if we uh, want to um, use this this um, example here, for example, okay. You can see that in this case, inside of try catch, now we are using, go back to R. Oops. Okay, you can see it. Now, instead of try catch, we are uh, using uh, with calling handles. Just as the same as before, we have an expression and then another option. In this case, we specify a path as the doubt. Uh, and so with calling handles this time, for example, we have a, a bit, uh, we have a function log uh, that requires a condition and then has a bit more articulated message inside. Side. You use the cut function for for a message. Okay, the cut function uh, is a, a sort of uh, paste function or glue, but it, 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 uh, inside concatenate uh, the all, all the option that you put inside. Okay, let let's run this thing, and then. Uh, so this is a spec log function, so an, an expression, okay? Uh, but this expression, this time, has this uh, concatenate information. So allows for a message, which is not only uh, uh, in the case uh, we did it before, it doesn't require that this has to be a number, only a number. Okay. In, in fact, if if we run this, uh, we can see that this is not uh, a numeric argument. Instead of uh, instead of uh, releasing the message. So this is nice. Let's go back in there. And so you can see that it is now maybe because we use a condition from before. Question. So, Restart. Let's see. I run. It's a bit low. It's a bit low. Okay. So I run the function. Okay, so it doesn't recognize uh, the concatenate expression, which is this one here. It says that after some time, this is fine. Says that. Uh, so this cut function has a condition and a level within the brackets and the message and then um, a tab. Uh, so. Okay. 
do you have any clue? Let's have a look at the um, image uh, layering with another function that allows you to selectively suppress some logging levels. And so now we haven't been able to understand why these things didn't work because it should release the yellow and we should use the this other side catch to see how it works. Let's have a look at the um let one of the exercises. Why is cat catching um I'm not sure. Do you do you do you have any clue, Betsy? Why is not uh, releasing the LO as in the example? I just copy and paste. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm really, honestly, struggling to understand exactly what's supposed to happen in there. Um. I, I, yeah. I, I... yeah. This is uh because this is a log function, so. Is expect a number, but we have specified a log function. So we have built up a log function, which requires a condition. And this condition. It, it looks like this is actually, it's supposed to be adding the message you put in there to a log file. Right, so wherever you ran that in that uh, working directory, it looks like there should be a a file that logs logs the word hello. Right. Yeah, that there's a specification of the path. Yeah. So if you go back to your R, and you go yeah. to the go go to R. Right. And on the right side uh, in the uh, files, like not in that window, on, on the right side of your R Studio, on the files section. Okay. But yeah. So see files there? It's the first one on the bottom. Yeah. So is there like a log file in here now? Like, Uh, I'm yeah. not sure what I am. Yeah, I don't know either. Uh, go, to, you know the blue cogwheel. Go to go to working directory. See, like, Ooh, so I'm in there. No, no. Uh, in that file section, you know, the, you see the blue icon with the down arrow next to it, right above the list. So above this list. Okay. Like, go up with your. Okay, above that, see the icons? There's a folder, and then there's like a file, and then there's there's a bunch bunch of icons. Mm -hmm. It's hard for me to describe. So yeah, yeah. So see the one that says more? Above that one, yeah, no. So if you're looking at the files it. tab, just under the files tab, the first line, it says new folder, new blank file, delete. Yeah. Rename more. Go to more and go to working directory. Go to working directory. That one. Okay. So do we see? It should no. be a log file. A log That's log what I was file. thinking. There should be some kind of like log file in here. Bath should be here. I don't know. But isn't it trying to write to standard out by default rather than? actually to a file i don't so. know what that function does so if you can explain to me what that function does that would maybe that would help me i i um, and i'm behind on the reading so i i this yeah what is out yeah what does that one do um 
Or I was assuming that would just print to the console. As in... I don't know. So, display asset of connections. Our standard connection corresponding to input output and error input, on the consolidation. Oh. Okay, th this is an esteem, uh, um, esteem case, but uh, because you test the connection uh, and so uh, it goes to the, the, the path. Oh, let's have a look if we can get some information. Yeah. How to get the path of STD out. What is the path? Is dev on Linux a symbolic link to the file where the STD out is directed, which which will be a terminal that's device rust. under dev. That, that's for Rust. I don't know if that's applicable here. That. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I... Yeah, okay. So this is <laughs> not, uh, uh, this is at the advanced down. Okay. <laughs> uh, and so basically, uh, going back to the chapter, um, here we haven't uh, basically not the fault behavior. Um, this was a log function. Uh, and so we use these things. Okay, when you go log, you have this uh, a condition which is signaled, but nothing happened because as not a default handler to activate logging, you uh, uh, need an handle that does something with the log condition. So we basically miss it this other bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, not ready yet. Hey, your R keeps restarting. <laughs> uh, you can even imagine layering with another function that allows you to selectively suppress some logging levels. And so this goes forward to the, the ending things. So we use this log function. Now we have the log. Let's see this log. Where is it? Where, where is the, 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 the call? Okay. So we go this log and said he couldn't find the function signal, which is this. And so Okay. Okay. I don't know what's it doing. Um, so signals in Arling. Say it again. Sorry, did, did you, I was looking at my own screen because I was entering some code, but did, you were getting an error. Yeah, you know? signal is an Arling, so you just need to attach Arling. I need to detach Arling. Attach Arling, yeah, just library Arling. That's at the top of the chapter. Attach, attach it, library. 
a touch or detach because it is different. Uh, touch is a bit. Yeah, and then I just rather than doing the standard out, which I think should be the console, I just you know it takes a path argument, so I just did like here here my log dot text. Okay. 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 Why didn't said you you haven't uh, didn't said you haven't got the uh, R lang loaded you need to load Arlang or oh, missing a package yeah okay so what was the function that used Arlang oh well signal does ah signal okay okay Okay, so th that so so we solved the 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 mystery. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so now we we've got the output, which is a low and not uh, it doesn't expect the number. So actually work. Okay, so this is basically uh, so what what we saw. Uh, just uh, the, the type of function that we can use but then when you uh, practice that you need to use and add um, some um, conditions, various conditions. If you build a function or a package, you need to play with this information uh, a bit because uh, these are not... Uh, uh, uh these are, these are not difficult but they are not uh so look at them like this might not be even somehow uh so applicable to your use case in, in case you want to uh to use that but uh you know that you can put it inside uh as that uh, as is. I don't know if you have any other questions or uh, information to share. <laughs> okay, so we have seen this uh, uh, condition chapter. Uh, what's going to happen next week? I don't know if you... Uh, are you available next week for a uh, meeting uh, us? We were discussing last last week about uh, combining uh, more than one chapter when they are short. Uh, and so it might happen that uh, um, some of the um, following chapter uh, can be combined. So let's have a look at the uh, Should we stop first? What? what? Oh, should we just hit stop for the recording? Ah, okay. In the in the, in the chat. Sure. Did you put it? Okay, I'll do that.